My name is Gerald Hearn, live from Tsunami Studios for their New Year's Eve event. We're going to start off with a brand new song called Simone. I hope you enjoy. She's out on her own At 16 years old she had a baby of her own It had no say, it was taken away She beats herself up about it every day They say it's for the better, I won't forget her If I hold you now, I will tell you I'm proud You feel so proud Ooh, you could be like this way You'll find Simone. I was just a child. I'll do as the story goes. She's out on her own at 20 years old. Simone's a woman of her own. The mom's on the streets, admitted defeat. Simone's landed on her two feet. Yeah, they say it's for the better. She won't forget her. I hold you now. I will tell you I'm proud. So proud Ooh, You could be like this way Wanna feel your pain Wanna scream your name Some more If you're feeling alone I got a place that you can go And I know it will be the same I know you'll find This moment I was just a child Yeah Mr. Adam O'Mani is going to take it away on the guitar Are you ready? Have you seen her? Where did she go? Is she locked outside or she's standing in the cold? Looking for some more, please tell me where did she go? Is she locked outside or she's standing in the cold? Standing in the cold, some more. Just a child. Thank you very much. I'm going to move on to a song that we left out, um, our most recent uh, release, a song called uh, Home in Five. If you just be patient with me. As we are live streaming, I just have to tune my guitar. So, this is Home in Five. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, I'm alive. 
come alive Don't forget that I'll be on in fire Trembling, going through my veins Driving me insane Like a king with a king a fortune thing I'll get sun Leads from the sky You Made it slow in July You're Just went with my feet If I can't hear you Everything else is noise You call not have smooth I can voice I will try to be home in five Yeah, August sun Bleeds from the sky You and I Said a last goodbye Sort of say a huge thank you to um, Transmission TV for having us here. Um, also, want to introduce the band. We have Labus from Greece, Trey from Galway, Adam from Cork, and Dave from Tralee. Absolutely fantastic brothers of mine. Uh, hope you enjoy our next song. Um, this is kind of a funky one. Hope you enjoy. To repeat the ignition sequence, we'll start at 8.9 seconds. Tell me you're down Now I was wondering If you're around But you're not Come out and talk At night I hear your voice in the heart You want me and I Crave it corner Can you hear me? Can you hear me at all? Can you hear me screaming out? Oh yeah, you whisper and I 
to um, do a song now, uh, one of my favorites, kind of a ballad, hope you, hope you enjoy it, it's a song called Run. We're too big for this place, I miss the smile that used to be in your face, pack your bags and make an escape. I've got some money and all day these tapes. I know what you know it too the Conversations going deeper than the ink from my tattoos Let's break away, let's get away from all of her All the pain, just me and you Let's break away, let's get away Come take me, let's run away, just me and you You wanna run Is what I know. I will join anywhere with you. And I crave the love. Come give me some. If you were with me, you'd have me under your thumb. I don't care where we go. If you're with me, I can call that home. No fears. Maybe for a day, for a week, for a year. Oh, let's go, boy. Let's get away from all her, all the pain, just me and you. Let's go, boy. Let's get away. Come take me, let's run away, just me and you. If you wanna run, run, run. Wanna lose control? Here's what I know. I'll go anywhere with you. 
like that song um it's actually it's it's done so much for us um that song is the reason we got to to support billy ocean um it was picked uh, by code line as one of the top five irish written songs back in 2019 it was crazy but um it's it's all it will always be one of my favorites so um we're gonna move on to our biggest song though it's all about um leaving home underage and uh, trying to find out who you were and missing home. In this case, uh, I'm from Cork, and when I think of home, I think of the Shandon Church, which has a big golden uh, fish at the top of it. So uh, when people first listen to it, they're like, why is this guy singing about a fish flying? So um, that's what the fish in the sky is about. So um, yeah, that's what this song is about. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it uplifts you into our new year. Thank you. Fish 
Once again, I just want to say um, a huge thank you to Transmission TV. They're hosting this whole event and based here in the Tsunami Studios in Dublin. Absolutely incredible, brand new place. Um, and I, I'm absolutely so thankful to be here. So, um, so I hope you're all staying safe and staying at home. This song is a new song. And it's... Uh, it kind of it's it is what it says in the title. It's called "Show Me Your Friends," um, and I'll tell you who you were. But it's called "Show Me Your Friends," so you'll get the gist of it just from the song. Uh, we're kind of only testing it out at the moment, so let us know what you think. Thank you. Up close is so different from a fire. Yeah, I wanna see the girl I know you are. I wanna backtrack now, much your eyes up front to see that you find a note and smile. You have behind your gun. Just sat there, watched her. They filled up a laughter. She calls up a taxi. She's crying in the backseat. Cigarette in her hand, headphones on, favorite band. Where's the girl? Show me your friends. I'll tell you who you are. I see you. Up the stairs, she falls into her bed. She thinks about how this is all gone. Oh, show me your friends, I'll tell you who you are. I see you in the backseat of his car. Oh 
This song is a bit of an intense ballad. Uh, it's about doing someone wrong, I suppose. And hence why the song is called Wrong. It was wrote over lockdown. And I hope you enjoy it. Up, I just uh, I just want to say once more, my name is Gerald Ahern. This is Labis on bass, Atreu on drums, Adam on guitar, and Dave also on guitar. And I want to thank them so much. But um, I, I'd I'd like to uh, sing the song uh, without some of the members. So thank you so much, guys. But I'll take you back at the end to tell you how much I love you all. So um, this song is a complete metaphor. Uh, I talk about 
a storybook. Well, I'm actually uh, talking about uh, the passing of my mother during lockdown, which was absolutely awful. Um, but I hope you enjoy. Wrote a book with all the chapters There was no happiness, no laughter and Since you're gone, since you're away Sorrows come and say to stay Do I go from here? I'm still not used to being alone Nights in an empty home And since you're gone, since you're away Sorrow's come and say to stay Do I go from here? I can't hold your memory yet, man I can see you laugh through the phone me down from the shelf, just be you and I'll be myself. Take your time, and if you want to read my mind, look between the lines. If you don't like it, tear it out. All these rumors, word of mouth. Write a story for me Write a story for me I'm sorry if you can read my writing Between these lines where I've been hiding Since you're gone, since you're away is here to stay Where do I go from here? And I can't hold your memory at night I can't see you laugh through the phone Take me down from the shelf And just be you, I'll be myself Take your time if you want to read my mind Look between the lines If you don't like it, tear it out All these rumors, word of mouth Write a story for me So glad that I was stuck, stuck in Charlotte's web. And if you wanna read my mind, look between the lines. If you don't like it, tear it out. All these rumors, word of mouth, write a story for me. storybook <laughs> um, sorry <laughs> about the pedal um, but no I just want to bring all the lads back a sec and just say thank you to them all
out of eyes. <laughs> no, and a uh, huge thank you to everyone here at Tsunami Studios and, and part of Transmission TV. It's been an absolute pleasure in the middle of lockdown. Absolute musicians' dreams come to a beautiful studio like this and work with absolute professionals. And thank you very much, lads. Happy New Year, lads. Many thanks. And Lavis wants to say hello to his family in Greece. Yes, sir. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Welcome back. I'm here with Gerald Ahern and his band. Lads, how are you keeping? Good. Not too bad. Well, I have to say that was an absolutely fantastic performance. I really enjoyed that. Do you just want to go around and just introduce yourselves uh, to the public? I'm Dave. I'm from Tralee. I'm Labis. I'm from Greece. I'm Drew uh, from Galway. I'm Gerald. I'm from Cork. I'm Adam. I'm from Cork. Absolutely pleasure to meet you, lads. These are from such a variety uh, of backgrounds. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how you've met? Um, I think I, I met Adam first, just being, uh, you know, a musician practicing in band rooms and stuff, and putting up an advertisement on Facebook looking for a, a guitarist. And Adam came in with a, you know, one of these um, squares. You 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 literally like get the what was it? Starter kit. The starter the kit. Starter he came kit, with his starter yeah, kit squire, and uh, I think we were. He was about fifteen or sixteen, and he had like a gig a week later in Clarny in like an over 23's nightclub. Wow. <laughs> One named. And we can say that now. Who needs we're, a fake ID when you can just be a musician, right? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and since then, we just grew. Um, I just met the lads all through college, I suppose. Mm. Mm. And um, we haven't looked back, I suppose. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because you've been together for how long? <laughs> a couple of years, you you transitioned to solo. In, Believe in it or not, as it? like a band in whole um, is four years old now. Four, it's been four. I only got the the memory on Snapchat the other day of the first <laughs> practice. It was four years ago, but um, geez, it's been crazy four years. Yeah, yeah. I'd say so. Well, your your past has been crazy as well. I mean, you started performing since you were ten, Gerald, right? So yeah, I was. I started off in a country music band called. Mm. The, called I saw the, that. Yeah, the Wee Amigos. The Wee Amigos. And, and their song tonight. Well, now you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you not? Would you not want to cover a few of the oldies? Or um, as I know, that was like. I wish I relived it because I was so young I didn't understand what was happening between, mm. you know, having Colin Ray, a big Nashville star, coming over to do tours and going to trips to Scotland and being on the Late Late Show and just meeting famous people all the time. And I had no clue. I thought that was normality for any 10-year-old at the time. But I look back at it now, I wish I took advantage of it more and kept some phone numbers. But... um <laughs> No, I, so I, I, it's all I know, I suppose. Yeah. It's what I was reared on. What, it's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's very interesting because I was looking back on, on some interviews and it's kind of like, it, it seems like a lot of pressure for somebody that age because, I mean, like I was 10 years old. I didn't know my, my head from my foot, do you know what I mean? And you were able to conduct these interviews or be, be you know, answer <laughs> questions. And, and I'm like, wow, this guy must be, you know, uh, well, Superman here being able to do all these things it, at that it age. It actually you know? all started with my sister working at a shopping centre and in the shopping centre they were hosting... A talent competition. I was only like eight years old at the time, so then I was like, "Let's." I got through that talent competition, and eventually this guy just turned around and went. And it was a sound engineer mm. saying, "I know a guy that's putting together this country band. I think you look very well in it." And it just went from there. As mm. I say, it was always something that clicked with me music-wise. Mm. Um, my dad always played music in the car. I just clung to it, I suppose. But um, just so something actually. I remember coming home from school years ago, and like. I turned on the telly and I sat down and I was having my dinner. No, I know what he's going to say. Prick. <laughs> Do you know Elevate? From the Cork. T -R -T -R -T on Elevate. Oh, yeah. Singing this song. And I'm going, and they're so jealous. And I'm like, just fuck around. <laughs> Stop it. That's, that's crazy. And then you end up being in his band. Yeah. Wow. Um, I think uh, Labus is the newest addition um, mm -hmm. to uh, the band. Welcome, Labus. Welcome, Labus. On bass. On base, yeah. To say. I, How are you finding uh, the band and working with the guys? Oh yeah, it's great. I know all of them from college, so we, we were playing uh, before in college, and then six months ago, Zera asked me. I contacted him and I was like, <laughs> I want to write some songs, and I I really love the idea of you know this new kind of 
straight kick and drop base kind of thing and, and playing with Lavasi he's got some he's got some funky grooves like. yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah. agree with you he's got yeah, he's yeah. got the cool sticks in your head pop licks that, and he's he's a great songwriter so yeah. um, and he's an all around lovely fella he's a lovely fella we love him he is he's love an absolute gentleman and I, I like I was saying earlier to you, is I think I think you guys are going to corrupt him a little bit <laughs> so think, Lavis watch out man alright maybe you should turn it around and, and you know and if there is <laughs> if there is anyone <laughs> If there was anyone thrown into the deep end, I definitely think it was Dave. As, mm. oh, as yeah. in, um, I think literally I, or like literally, I, I was. No, 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 I said <laughs> that was like, a Bondoran, right? <laughs> am I wrong saying this? I actually don't. I think I just literally like passed Dave. Like I was in, I was in class with Dave, and and uh, I just passed him one day in Cork. I was like, hey, Dave. Um, I'm supporting Billy Ocean there in the Opera House. Uh, would you be up for playing? I think is is that your first gig? Um, sorry, I yeah, like I've played around Cork with other bands and stuff, but like Jer mm -hmm. came Jer came up to me and was like, uh, "Do you want to like play a gig with me? We're supporting Billy Ocean." I was like, "Ah, uh, okay." And he said, <laughs> "What yeah, a two gig weeks. to be offered!" Two weeks. Was, I didn't know any of the songs. But you have to do it. Like. Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. And how long was your set for that event? It was probably a half an hour set, so yeah, it wasn't too long. Actually, but at the time, it, it was a lot. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, it's, it it's crazy how it all happened. It yeah, yeah. As in, like. Family guy make jokes about this guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. As in, uh, he's huge. And, uh, he's he was huge. the guy who made jokes about us next. Last, yeah. like, yeah, I literally yeah. watched new season. Rick That's when you know you made it. You know, if, if you're if you're joking <laughs> about by Simpsons guy. or Family Guy. Well, Simpsons got. He was on Rick and Morty there, so last. He was that. on the, the new new episodes of Rick and Morty too. So I was like watching it, like and I'm just like, yeah, I know that guy. I know I'm on video shit. Yeah. <laughs> and what made you decide to bring in an extra guitar? Actually, I'd be curious to know. No, uh, <laughs> I'll, don't I'll be too actually, hard on yourself, Adam. Come on. You said it, not us. When I actually wrote the songs, uh, I went to Paris Street Studios in Liverpool, mm. and I don't. I I I was. All, I have also been playing with Dave in college and stuff, and um, a lot of the songs I came back with were, were quite like funky and groovy, and like he, I think I do think he's the funk machine. Also, mm. like he's got. A, I lo I'm, I love watching you doing some of those licks, and and just even the the finesse of your playing is, is just fantastic. So I really did enjoy that. Yeah, I agree. It was like I literally put the songs in into his hands, and, and you know, as as in, as in like he just spat back exactly what I wanted to hear in my head, mm. and he's yeah. just and he's an overall nice guy, and his family are absolutely incredible too. You know, he's mm. everything. I swear to God, his family are more supportive than my family. As in, I have probably more. I have. I, <laughs> as in, I'll tell you now. As in, any time we go to Tree to play music, uh, they look after us so well. His brother is also a photographer. Uh, Phil, Philip Corkery, check out his work too. There you go. great. He ta he he's taking photos for us. So. Um, Fantastic. So it was a good it was a good idea getting Dave really? in because we took advantage yeah. of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a great dynamic, I have to say. And even just watching you is the way you you are kind of you know the way you interact with each other. It is kind of that family. You call them brothers during your show as well, and that kind of you know reinforced that, which is great. Great to see that and great to hear that. You know, it's so it's really important to have that in a in a band that's clearly so ambitious as well you know especially from obviously your past of ambition but then bringing this forward with a really strong group of people you know that's so important it's just such a shame now we're in this lockdown right it's so hard to sort of push direct that ambition how are you finding that now as being obviously very busy supporting billy ocean i'll go into some of the other gigs in a second but just tell us a little bit about now how you're directing that passion um to be honest we quite we 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 just we just wrote I, I wrote lots of songs as in there's definitely 20 new songs in the bag and we're at the point now when we're doing these live streams like will we do that and no hold off because we want to get it recorded and writing stuff but mm -hmm. um we wrote loads of songs we probably we probably only met up four or five times during the whole lot of lockdown because simply because it was unsafe you know what i mean as in my my mother was very very sick and she passed away in july and you know it was absolutely a harvest, so we couldn't meet up. It was unfair, as in now Adam's grandfather is very sick at the moment. As in, we are in a horrible situation, a horrible time, but luckily, right now, while we're waiting for vaccines and the world to move on, we can do things like this. As in, we practically live with each other anyway, so um, it's okay for us to meet now, but it's not okay for us to play gigs. We're so thankful to have events like these hap happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that's, this is how the ball is moving, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think this year has been like a lesson as well for the band. Moving forward, sorry, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hand to me. No, please do, guys. Yeah, just look, like, make yourselves at home. It's been kind of like 
stay at home. Here's all the gigs you can have, and it's just like, no, <laughs> not anymore. Take bye them bye. away like a yeah, kid. Yeah, and it's just Take like, away his toys, and yeah. then we're sitting at home for ages, not knowing what to do, and then it's just kind of like, well, from you know, myself from Jordan and Ren, we're just like, right, like how do we make this a good situation? Mm. And then just so we got the luckily, studio and stuff. Yeah, and so luckily now we have a place to record. Yeah. Demos. we have a place to rehearse and drink pints. Mm. And, <laughs> and drink pints. Yeah, and it is it is a horrible time. Obviously, you know the year has stricken so many of us so hardly, some harder than others, right? Mm. And I'm, I'm really sorry to hear uh, your loss, Gerald, uh, and I'm sorry to hear your grandfather's yeah. not feeling Thanks. well, Adam, and, and so many people have had lost this year as well. And He's probably watching, actually. Like, yeah, well, give, give him a big wave out there. Yeah, <laughs> How's it going, Granddad? So look, I mean, it's, it's great that we can still do stuff like this, right? We can still do live stream, we can sort of keep music alive. It's not ideal. But it's yeah. something at least, isn't it? So, you know, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. Um, and it's, I yeah. think, I love, um, like, sit, I, I even, well, I know on, like, all the family and I are sitting around at home watching this, the excitement to see this come on mm. as well. That's that's a great thing as well. Yeah. Because um, even when we get home right from here, we're going to watch this. I love that. I, 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 I love that excitement waiting to go yeah. see. It's like, a, it's like a movie premiere you're waiting to see. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? It's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah no, it's fantastic. Tell us, tell us a little bit like, quickly like what's, what kind of has been a notable gig for you. I know you did some massive. We mentioned the Billy Ocean. Um, what other kind of gigs were, were really massive for you? Because there's a couple there in the mix. As in, in, in Cork, um, the, main, the main event that happens every year is live at the Marquee with people mm. like... Um, the Cronas probably play there every year. I saw Aha there, I've seen Damien Rice there, I've seen Sting there. And I always looked at that stage with jealousy and envy, wanting yeah. to get up there. But luckily, mm. we had the chance to, last year, um, supporting the academic. Uh, that was... I. It's it's so hard to do something so amazing that, and, and then come into a situation that we're just, in now. Uh, as in, mm. I, I won't rest until we do something like that again. Because it, it seems like you are progressively being pushed up, right? Yeah. I mean, you had Billy Ocean the year before, right? Was that 2018 or was that 2019 as well? The end of 2018. That was end of 2018. So then the year after, mid October. The, yeah, yeah. So there yeah. you go. So then this year would have been kind of your year to yeah. even bigger, right? Yeah. Yeah. As uh, even between that, we got like other opportunity. We played um, this day. Was it this day? Last year we played the. New Year's Eve with the Hot House Flowers? Or yeah, we probably would have, or maybe yeah. the year before. Yeah, yeah, in the Opera House as well. Um, That's good. Cool. Like, there, there's, and we were meant to, we were meant to play loads of festivals. Uh, mm. We, you know, we're, I think, we're, I'd hopefully, praying it goes and we'll be at Wild Roots now. Um, that's happening. May, in May, May Bank Holiday weekend. If they can, if they can socially distance, I, I don't know how, but I hope, Pray. pray, pray it goes yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and whatever comes their way, uh, there's, there's been loads of things that, didn't happen mm. and festivals like that. It started the first, the first lockdown every few weeks. Jerry be sending in a Snapchat being like, guys, we're meant to be playing here tonight. Oh, sending yeah, in yeah, Snapchat, yeah. there's uh, screenshots of his. Uh, Let me to tell him stop because like, yeah, it was getting depressing. So there was a lot of gigs, I guess, that were cancelled for your yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was coming to that um, like Patrick's Day kind of. Um, that's when the lockdown came, came in. Was like, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I was so excited because, um, you know, we, we play some fun gigs as well, some cover gigs sometimes. Mm. And, uh, you know, the u the usual spots that I'd like to have a find in in Cork we were uh we were meant to play there there we were meant to do four gigs on Patrick's Day and it was uh, in one day and yeah. one yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. But it was we was look forward to that because that's what you do that's that's what um I think a musician's Patrick Day is is cram as much gigs yeah. as oh, you the last can. gig you'd probably be you'd be wrecked well pissed probably oh, right drunk but like yeah I was so Not excited too. to do that but obviously we'll have to just hang tough until until we can but um. Mm. It is. It is what it is, and we just have yeah. to to push forward. Well, let's use have any uh, New Year's resolution before I let you go. More gigs. More gigs. <laughs> More gigs. What about you, Dave? What's your New Year's resolution, or what are your plans for oh, next I'm year? Do you have any kind of completely playing it by ear? Just yeah, <laughs> just, <laughs> I suppose there's nothing <laughs> you can really do. We have to see what 2020 is like first. Oh, 2021. Oh, Jesus. Uh, definitely go to Greece with my family. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. Can we go? You know, I'd, I'd, lo I'd love in on this, to be honest. I need some more sun, to be honest. So. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds like, if people are half as nice as it yourself, Lavis, I'd, I'd love to go there, honestly. I, I think... I, it's a plan. <laughs> We're all going. We have so much new music I, want, I would love to go back to a studio and, and make 
make these demos into something proper. Mm-hmm. I said we've we've um we've written our first album, we've had our singles, but even since these two years, I feel like we're constantly growing and constantly improving as musicians. Mm-hmm. And uh, we it's very hard to get that that opportunity to get into studio being independent artists. Mm-hmm. Uh, so ho- hopefully that will happen, and hopefully we'll see some sex success out of these. A lot of sex, <laughs> a lot of sex as well, I guess, huh? <laughs> some success. Now you're talking. Songs. Now you're talking, Gerald. <laughs> That's it. I know it's hard. It's hard to. It's hard to you know connect with people these exactly. days, isn't it? So Hello, Jerry's absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, listen, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you. And before we go, uh, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank, thank, thank you for getting in contact and uh, give it look look around us. Like we're in an absolute incredible studio, and we they were just everyone here is absolute. They're all men, as a gentleman, uh, to work with. Um, so thank you so much for having us, and ho- I'd love to do something again with you very soon. It'll be a pleasure to work with you again, lads. It's been an absolute pleasure, and thanks thank so you. much for popping down and and taking part in this. You know, course, so you know. it was an absolute delight. Again, it, so. it was a gig. Do you know, we want. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, gig. Yeah, we'll take that. There you go. Could have said we have a gig in Timbuktu. Do you know, you can drive yeah. there and be like, cool, man. We're on the way. All right. I love, I love, I love music. Love so, okay, guys, so that was Gerald Ahern, guys, and the lovely gentleman that accompany him. Next up is the fantastic makings, but of course, before then, we're going to have our New Year's countdown, so don't go away. See you in a second. <laughs>